My dear friend, instead of writing letters in the month ahead, I shall be sending you a variety of Christmas cards, which I hope will add a touch of festive jollity to your days. Have you started decorating yet? I'm about to put up the tree, but I'm already very much in the Christmas spirit as I had the most magical experience a few days ago. I got to visit Narnia. No, I have not been evacuated to a strange house in the countryside, but I did pay a visit to Castle Howard, which has been transformed into the glittering, enchanted world of C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Castle Howard is a stately home near York, famous for its appearance in Brideshead Revisited and Bridgerton, and it's easy to picture it as the country house to which Peter, Susan, Edmund and Lucy are evacuated during World War II. Here is the description of their new home. This house of the professors was so old and famous that people from all over England used to come and ask permission to see over it. It was the sort of house that is mentioned in guidebooks and even in histories and well it might be, for all manner of stories were told about it. I think that Castle Howard fits that description very well. I felt a shiver of excitement as soon as I walked up the grand staircase, where a very Narnia-like lamppost beamed in the gloom of a winter afternoon, and a Christmas tree sparkled at the top of the stairs. Bedrooms in the house had been imaginatively transformed into the rooms of all four children, and each room reflected the character of each child and hinted at their adventures to come. Making our way through room after room, we came to the wardrobe scene, with heavy doors hung with fur coats and the snow-white world of Narnia whirling about us just ahead. The famous lamppost shone in the dark, 
complete with Mr Tumnus's brown paper parcels and red woolen muffler. Did you read the Chronicles of Narnia as a child? I did, and seeing scenes from the book brought to life filled me with a childlike sense of glee. I went home and reread The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe that very evening. It really is such a lovely story to read at Christmas. One of my favourite scenes recreated from the book was the Christmas dinner scene with Mr Fox and his woodland friends. The table in the crimson dining room at Castle Howard looked incredible, with a beautiful plum pudding as the crowning glory. And then it was over and I was back in the land of spare oom. <laughs> but that feeling of having been sprinkled with a tiny bit of magic hasn't left me. And I'm all the more excited for festive fun ahead. I've tucked a pamphlet into this card so you can read all about Christmas in Narnia at Castle Howard. I love that it's illustrated by Emily Sutton. Another Christmas card will be winging its way to you shortly. But until then, I'm wishing you the most wonderful December ahead. All my love, Miranda.